It's a gathering of both spiritual and political leaders here. And one reason why they are gathered is to join in the celebration of one of their own, Pastor Itua Igudalo, as he turns 61. While delivering his address, the clergy said Nigeria had gone through a lot of problems and not yet what she is supposed to be. He therefore solicited for leaders with vision that will move the country forward. And he took time to be here. My brother and my friend, Professor Oluwato Yobudikwe, I thank you very, very much for being here. Oba Kole Ujutalayo of Waniki said, I want to thank him also. My brother, my kingdom friend, my kindred, and a guy with whom we've shared many different and varied experiences, himself and his lovely wife, for support. I really, really salute you and I thank you for your support and your kindness, and of course, your lovely wife, you find, for burning up our church on Sunday. I really thank you very much for allowing. <laughs> for allowing her to be here. Thank God we still have a building after Sunday. My brother, Pastor Kingsley Morgan, <laughs> Dr. Kingsley Morgan, thank you very much. And thank you for leading the charge, the charge to try and reform Nigeria. If you are not careful, maybe I will join you in that charge and run for president of Nigeria. For his part, former president Olusegun Basanjo insisted that the current constitution is perfect enough to move the nation forward. The former president urged leaders to emulate biblical qualitative leadership of Abraham, Joseph, and Moses for a better country. When I was in prison and all that, now I came out of prison. You know what they are asking me to do? And he said, oh, no, what are they asking me to do? So they are asking me to become president. He said, do what your own thing tells you to do. I said, thank you very much. I left it. And then I went to Desmond Titi. And Desmond Titi listened to me attentively and said, my brother, you are telling me that your country wants you to do something and you say you, are, you have done enough, you don't want to do. I said, no, 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 Desmond, that's not what I'm saying. He said, say it again. I said, it again. Is that that? speaker and vice chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Oluwatoin Ogundipe, said leaders should emphasize and identify with the less privileged rather than focusing on amassing wealth. It will lead to high level of problems for transformation or transformation in leadership in this part of the world. Let us look at the futures of unsettled times in Africa. Futures of unsettled times in Africa. Most countries in Africa are faced with varying issues. Like I said before, terrorism, political instability, social injustice, neocolonization, persistent dictatorship, corruption, self-centeredness, hunger, and disease, all of which call for an urgent transformational leadership so as to make the continent overcome them. The above challenges and many more are some of the reasons why Africa has not developed. This must change and it is certain that the church has a big role to play by introducing the very needed transformational leadership. Let us look at the futures of unsettled times in Nigeria. Nigeria is presently the most populous country, the largest economy, and the most notable democracy in Africa. I want to say the former president, Chief Abbasso, just said the population. Other discussions include founder, senior pastor, House on the Rock, Paul Adefarasi, National Overseer, the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor Joseph Olayemi, Founder, Visionary, Arise Women Foundation, Dr. Shiju Iluyomade, General Overseer, Foursquare Gospel Church in Nigeria, Reverend Samuel Aboyeji, amongst others. <laughs>